Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to create a meeting in Outlook 2013. The simplest way of doing this is by selecting the time that you want to have the meeting and then clicking on New Meeting. And then you enter a subject, enter a subject there, and then you invite who you want to be included in the meeting. I'm just going to select, I'm just going to type in, I want Kate to be involved here. And then I can just check the names, and that's Kate Kalmström, and, and I can see that she is actually available on the link here for a conversation. But I'm going to just send her an invite to this meeting. I can also go into the scheduling assistant to see if her calendar is actually busy at that time. And I can see that my calendar, the first row here, is filled with the information that I have in my calendar, but and hers is also, but she doesn't have anything at this time. So I can just send the invite and I get prompted here for do you want to send this meeting without a location? Yes, I will send anyway. So now I have this meeting invite and if I open that I can see that I've sent this meeting request to Kate and I can see that I haven't re received any responses. Now in a few seconds she will go ahead and answer that invitation. There I get the accept long-term planning. I'm going to go into my calendar and watch that too. You can just double click the pop-up there but anyhow I'm going to go in there, accept it and I see that yes she accepted and I can just delete that notification. In my meeting now I can see that I have one guest that's accepted and uh, if I go into the tracking here I can see also who accepted. So let me ask Kate here to send me another invite for another meeting and I'll see the other side of this coin here when you get the meeting request. Now when you get an invite in Outlook, which I should be getting any second now, there we go, short term planning, then you have a lot of options for what to do with that invite. You can accept it right away and then you have sub options under accept, just send the response now, don't send a response, and you do really want, need to send a response because otherwise it won't be tracked properly. So you want to use one of the first ones here. Tentative, same thing with the option with the response options there, and then you can decline. And the fourth major option here is the proposed new time, and um, you can do tentative and proposed new time also as an option there. I'm just going to click the standard one here, and there you see the meeting scheduling wizard telling you how all the different attendees are booked. So now if I just auto pick the next available time here, that's four o'clock and I can just propose that or if I just want to meet the other day, then another day, then I can click down here too. Then I propose that time and as you see now the proposal is addressed to Kate who is the meeting organizer. That's a very important role in the whole you know scheduling meeting arrangement here. I'm going to send that off now and now Kate will get that suggestion. And if she accepts my meeting invitation there now, I get another invitation. And as you see now, that is indeed for Friday instead of the Thursday as we originally discussed. Now I'm going to accept that meeting and send the response. And of course that now ends up before the Friday morning meeting in my calendar. So that shows the whole process of inviting somebody to a meeting. Thank you for looking at this video.